by Juneau County's district attorney that the state's new sexual education law promotes the sexual assault of children. And he's issuing a legal warning. The night team's David Douglas joins us now with more tonight, David. Eric, that warning in a letter to the county's five school districts says teaching the new curriculum could expose teachers to criminal liability and open school districts to civil litigation. To encourage children to have sex in any way, shape, or form is egregious. But Juneau County DA Scott Southworth says that's exactly what a new state sex ed law does. It's one thing to instruct students about human biology, human physiology, reproduction. It's quite another to cross that line and to start teaching students how to engage in sex for pleasure. A claim he's making because the Healthy Youth Act, which became law in March, requires schools to teach how to use contraception. And because Wisconsin statute provides for no legal consent prior to age 18, Southworth says any such sexual activity is illegal. It's akin to saying we need to teach kids how to make mixed drinks because some kids are going to illegally drink alcohol. The Department of Health Services disagrees in a statement to News 3 saying, quote, the law provides comprehensive, medically accurate, unbiased, and age-appropriate information and teaches teens about the potential negative consequences of their choices. The law helps identify abuse and prevent teen pregnancy. Southworth says he sees too many cases of child sex assault in his office, and he fears the new law might only make it worse. He also worries teachers could be held criminally liable for student actions. They instruct on how to have that sex for pleasure. That then can be a criminal issue because it contributes to the delinquency uh, of that child. The Department of Health Services also says, quote, study after study has shown that abstinence-only education does not work. The Healthy Youth Act updates our standards to reflect the risks teens face today. DHS points out parents retain the right to opt their children out of such courses, and districts can choose not to teach them. So interested to find out how our districts are uh, responding uh, to this. Well, I talked to two of the superintendents today, Mauston and New Lisbon, and they say they just got the letter, they're reviewing it, but they're going to look into the issue and discuss it carefully before they make any kind of decision.